This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX CAS Technology Student Course. In this lesson, we will look at editing tips and shortcuts you can use. One of the most common things you'll want to do on your Inspire is to edit or change a previous entry you have made. This happens frequently in working with algebraic expressions or equations. Let's suppose you start analyzing a quadratic equation defined by its rule in the y equals format. In the calculator application, we'll type in the rule y equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 and press enter. But then, you realize that the middle term was meant to be positive, not negative. Oh no! You think you have to type the whole thing in again. But you don't. To edit your incorrect entry, simply press the up arrow twice. And your original entry, now shaded, will be copied. Press Enter and it will be pasted into the next line, with the cursor still on the end of that line, ready to edit, ready to make the change you're wanting to make. Now we can use the directional arrows to move the cursor through the expression. Since we just want to change the sign of 5x, press the left arrow five times, so that the cursor is now between the subtraction or minus sign and the 5. Now press the left arrow del key once, which deletes the character to its left and so removes the minus sign. Type in the plus sign in its place and then press enter. Note you don't have to move the cursor back to the end of the algebra. Your new expression is on the new line. But what if you want to delete several terms of the rule and replace them with other algebra? Let's say we now want to work with y equals 2x squared brackets x minus 1. Copy and paste as before using the up arrow just once this time and enter. Instead of deleting the last two terms symbol by symbol with the cursor at the extremely right side, just hold down the shift key and press the left arrow six times. As you do this, the plus 5x plus 2 will be highlighted. Press the left arrow del key and the highlighted part will be gone. Type brackets x minus 1, and then press Enter, and your required rule will now be showing. Now suppose you want to find the x-coordinates for the point or points one of these quadratic relations has in common with the linear relation y equals 4 minus 2x. We'll first press Menu, then Algebra, then Solve. Leaving the Y out of it for now, we'll type 4 minus 2x equals. Let's go up and grab the first quadratic rule with the minus 5x. Press the up arrow five or six times it doesn't matter whether we copy the left or the right versions. And then Enter. We'll paste the entire rule down into our new line. But there's an extra y equals there that we don't want. So move the cursor to the left until it's just to the left of the x squared coefficient 2. Then press left arrow del twice. And then to solve for x, 
Take the cursor back to the right of the constant term 2. Press comma X and then enter. So the X coordinates of the points, the line Y equals 4 minus 2X and that first quadratic y equals 2x squared minus 5x plus 2 have in common are negative 1 half and 2. Expressions and equations in the calculator application can be copied and pasted into other applications. Let's copy the second quadratic, including its y equals, by pressing the up arrow five or six times so that it's selected, then press Control C to copy it. Now use the shortcut Control I to insert a new page and choose Add Graphs. It will show the functional view with F1 of X equals in the top line, but we'll want relational graphs. So from the menu, choose Graph, Entry, Edit, and choose Relation. Then paste the copied quadratic using Control V, just like you'd do in a Word document. And press Enter to see its graph. Undoing and redoing are useful actions for using Inspire when there's some doubt about an action you've just performed. To undo that graph entry, press Control, then Escape. Now note the curved Undo arrow just above that key. And if you change your mind again and want to reinstate the graph, to redo, simply press Shift, then Escape. That's all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other videos in this course.